back to my channel. Before watching this video, go ahead and like and subscribe so I can start creating more of this content. I'd really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get started on this video. So today we're gonna talk about the top five things that will help you get through recruit training as a female. Males, you can watch this too, but I'm gonna throw in a little extra tidbits of information for my females out there. Cause that's why I made my channel in the first place. I wanted to help you guys out with information that I didn't really know. Now, before I start this video, I want you to know that I'm not gonna go into detail about every little thing about recruit training. I think it's an experience that you need to have where you don't know everything and I had to accept that too when I was going to boot camp. So I think it's important to have that in mind as you watch this video. So I think I touched on um, a topic in one of my earlier videos about like what it's gonna be like when you ship to boot camp. So I do wanna like highlight to you guys that when you guys show up to the depot, you're gonna be wearing those clothes for a few days. So I would highly suggest wearing comfortable jeans, comfortable tennis shoes, and a collared shirt. You should also be wearing a tan bra because you might be able to wear that at graduation. Um, instead of like the nasty sports bras that they give you and underwear and all that stuff So I would re definitely recommend that Also, what I did is I brought a Bible and I taped Pictures of my family in there because it's gonna be about a month before you start to get mail I don't know if that's changed since I've been there in boot camp, but it took a long time for me to get mail so that's something that I really liked is to be able to open up my Bible and look at pictures of my family and my fiance at the time who's now my husband, but yeah and also I did want to clear something up. There was a video that I filmed a long time ago where I talked about, you know, packing for boot camp. I should have said that it was a suitcase that I was having my parents bring when I graduated recruit training so that I had clothes and toiletries and stuff to like take a shower and feel nice and look nice after recruit training because you're not allowed to shave in recruit training, you can't do your hair in recruit training like dyeing wise like everything like no no makeup don't even think about wearing makeup there was a girl i think that showed up with eyelash extensions <laughs> let me tell you not a good idea i promise you not a good idea i would definitely know how to do a sock bun before you get to recruit training because if you don't know how to do it you're going to be struggling trying to get other people to do your hair and then you're going to be slow at it and you won't get enough sleep at night and stuff like that so just make sure you kind of have the process down a little bit at least and when you show up to the depot, like I said, what you need to be wearing, possibly bring a Bible, and then anything else that your recruiter tells you to bring. And don't wear a thong, wear regular underwear, ladies. Regular underwear, get that in your head. Even if you go to Mets, you're gonna be needing to wear regular underwear, okay? Don't wear a thong, don't be the one. Don't be the one. <laughs> also, do not get moto tats before boot camp if you're not a Marine yet. Don't even get moto tats in general, but hey, if you wanna do it, go for it. But don't be showing up in a Marine Corps shirt. Um, I've seen some, some women show up with like the pool-y shirts and that's fine, but I would definitely recommend wearing a collared shirt. It makes you look more professional. And that's what you, not that the DIs really give a shit, like you're just, you're a recruit to them, they don't care, but I cared a little bit about, you know, the way I looked. So without further ado, I'm gonna start getting into the top five things you need to be doing in order to survive boot camp. Number one, when you get to recruit training boot camp, you need to scream at the top of your lungs, move as fast as humanly possible, and listen to every single order that you are given as fast as humanly possible. The more that you do that, the easier your life will be, and the less that the DIs will target you. If you make yourself a target by being slow, let me tell you right now, your life will become miserable almost instantaneously. Number two, when you show up to recruit training, be aware that you're going to be talking in third person. You're no longer going to refer to yourself as I, me, or my. It's only this recruit, that recruit, these recruits. So when you request to speak to a drill instructor, it's going to be, it's going to be the proper greeting of the day, so it's going to be good morning ladies or good morning ma'am. Recruit Glenbin requests permission to speak to drill instructor, whoever, they'll be like, what do you want? You'll be like, you'll just say it all over again. You say, this recruit requests permission to use the head, ma'am. 
and then they'll give you permission to go use the restroom. It's like that, it's, it's a really long process to ask a simple question. It's just completely taking away your civilian life and replacing it with the Marine Corps and that's how it begins. And you can't say I, me, or my until you are um, a Marine. So I'm not sure if people knew that, but yeah. So you're gonna be speaking in third person throughout recruit training. That's three months of saying this recruit, that recruit, these recruits, yeah. Number three, pick one person in your family or maybe two that you love and that you will write letters to. I personally only wrote to my dad and my fiance at the time and my dad relayed all the information to my other family members. So I was at writing away my time um, during Senior General Instructor Square Away time when I could have been studying or practicing drill. A lot of women, they wasted away their time, their free time on letters and then ended up falling behind in other areas. So if your goal is to be a squad leader, to be a guide, to be honor graduate, you need to put the platoon first and, and kind of put yourself on the back burner, but that's what recruit training is all about. So if that's something that you want, definitely consider not really writing that much to your family. Trust me, they know that you love them and you will see them on family day graduating and becoming a Marine and they will be so proud of you. Tip number four is to do your hair at night in the bathroom or in the laundry room sinks because a lot of people do not have time, like during senior drill or square away time, there's way too many girls trying to wash their hair in the sink or in the laundry room. And most, most of the time, like you spend way too much time just trying to get a sink. So personally, I prefer to do it at night because I knew that a sink would be open. I would do it in the middle of the night. Yeah, so definitely consider doing that. Also, I wanted to add this to this tip kind of. Your showers are gonna be the fastest showers you've ever taken in your life. You will be clean, they will make sure you're clean, but they're gonna be quick as fuck. I'm sorry, sorry for the language. They're gonna be very, 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 very fast. And you're not gonna be used to it, and that's okay. And you gotta be used to being naked about, around a bunch of girls. You, trust me, you'll get over it. You're, you'll get over the whole naked concept within a day. I promise. It, it is completely normal. Um, after the first like two nights or so. Some girls are a little bit more shy, but after a while nobody really cares. And most of the time when you do shower, you don't have time to wash your hair, especially if, if you have really, really long hair. If you have short hair before boot camp, um, that they kind of have it nice, but I didn't really want to chop my hair off, so that's why I didn't. But yeah. <laughs> the entire time I was at recruit training, I did not wash my hair and my body at the same time until the day before we graduated. So I would always like wash my body when we um, had showers and stuff, but I would never wash my hair at the same time. I would always wash my hair at night. So it'd be kind of like body hair, body hair, body hair. And tip number five is before you leave for recruit training, make sure you are physically fit. Make sure you are running, doing core, your crunches, planks, all things of that nature because it will help you in the long run, I promise. If being a guide or a squatter, like I said, is something that you want to achieve, then you need to be chasing that goal before you ever set foot on Paris Island. Even if you're not a guide or a squad leader, shoot to be the scribe or the knowledge recruit. Either of those are really good as well. The scribe also makes um, the fire watch list and that's basically whoever is on fire watch at night. It's kind of like a night duty where there's always two to three people I think at the front of the squad bay that, that watch over everybody. There will be nights where you're not gonna get as much sleep because you will be on that duty. So it's kind of a good thing if you're friends with the scribe because if you're not friends with the scribe, you might end up on that duty way more than you ever expected in the first place. So keep that in mind. And also with this tip, just, I know a lot of people are freaked out about IT, but I want you to go into IT with a mindset that it's gonna make you stronger mentally, physically, and emotionally. And that's the way I looked at it. It was more of like, hey, this is a really, really good workout than a negative kind of mindset. You have to kind of trick yourself into thinking like that. And also what will get you through recruit training is living chow to chow to chow. 
you know, all you think about in Buka, I swear, is like food. All I thought about was the little PB&Js I got at dinner, and yeah, <laughs> like I swear. Those little things got me through boot camp because that's all you could think about is because you're doing so much during the day and it's all packed into this small amount of time and all you, the, the, the one positive thing in your, in your life during those three months is food. And even though the chow hall might not look the best, I swear it's the best food in the whole friggin' world because it's just the one thing that you get to look forward during the, during the day and that will definitely get you through recruit training. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Feel free to leave comments down below on what you would like to see next. I am more than happy to help you guys out. That's why I've started getting more active on YouTube is because I want to help my little sisters and brothers, you know, join the Marine Corps. And yeah. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'd really appreciate it. Bye.